Welcome back to the Belted Galloway Homestead. I noticed that I have a yellow light on my whole house generator. Let me know that there's a service that's needed. So you pop the top here. And it looks like service schedule B. So, even though this says Honeywell, it's just like a Generac. And we'll be doing a Schedule B service on this whole house generator. We'll stick around. Well, referring to the owner's manual, Underneath the uh, maintenance and schedule section, it says that a, it has a Schedule A and a Schedule B. And a Schedule B is oil, oil filter, tune-up, air cleaner, spark plugs, and valve clearance. Now I think the valve clearance would be a video of its own. That would involve taking off these valve covers and check in the clearance. And that's, uh, I don't have the, um, the gaskets for those either. So we'll be doing the rest of the Schedule B and then uh, I'll have to do a separate video on the valve clearance. So with that said, we need to take this out of service and start on that maintenance. So for this service, I use a full synthetic 5W30. I'm here in Minnesota and I want this thing to start up. No issues, um, especially in the dead of winter. So uh, I use a uh, full synthetic so we have any issues on that. For the rest of it, I bought a kit off of Amazon. You can buy individual components, but I found that buying the kit uh, was, the, uh, was the most economical. Again, it's OEM parts. I know there's uh, you can do cross references and um, get different filters, but basically got the the oil filter. I got the two spark plugs. You have to check the gap on those. Check your manual. Mine is forty thousandths, and then the air filter. So just wanted to lay out what all I'll be using. These units are really nice. It has a hose that drops down here. Got the plug on the end to uh, to drain the oil. I'll open this just to improve venting a little. And I'll get that draining before I do anything else. And again, make sure you have your service turned off while you're draining your oil. You don't want this kicking on while you're out of oil on this. So you could have a power outage. You have no idea when those are coming, so just make sure your service is off so the motor won't kick on while you're doing this oil change. While the oil is draining, let's change the air filter. Pretty easy. You got some clips in the back here. You've got some pins that need to bypass before that'll pop out. Comes out that easy. Here's the old one. Doesn't look bad. My generator doesn't run a lot. It does the service or the exercise on the service every week. There's the Generac number. Here's the new one. 0J8478 for this size of a generator, but a little dirty. I would almost argue that it doesn't necessarily need to be changed. You can blow that out a little bit, but it's been a while, so I'm going to do a civil service. Again, I want mine to start up in the dead of winter because of these Minnesota cold winters.
clean that out a little never had any issues generator has ran great drop the new one down in there put it over the back tabs lock down the front and that's it air filter is changed that easy let's do the spark plugs now since uh, we're still waiting on that oil to drain well looks like the oil is still coming out so let's do the spark plugs now so on a spark plug you do have you can use a a, a deep well socket uh, there's also, though, spark plug wrenches that are made. They've got a rubber down inside that engages with the tip of the spark plug to protect it and keep it from wobbling in there. If you're just using a deep well, you can get it in there crooked and snap it off. So it's up to you, but uh, I just wanted to make you aware that they actually do sell spark plug wrenches. And then the spark plugs, as I mentioned, for this generator needs to be 40 thousandths. Different ways of doing that. You can get you one of these very inexpensive um, gauges to check and put that in there and check 40 thousandths. I pre checked these, they already came at 40 thousandths. I'm, I'm, I, I tend to notice that spark plugs come already set to the gap they need to be, but it's always good to check. Or you can use some old fashioned filler gauges and adjust that tang there to the, the gap that needs to be done. So, pull that first one off. Not bad very clean runs on propane or it run on natural gas so i would expect these to be very clean and i think the probably the service is is um sooner than probably it needs to be but i've already got the components might save those as spares okay we'll throw the new one in there Snug it up. I'm sure there's a torque value on there, but I don't know it. You can look that up if that's important to you. I'm going to change the other side now, just like I did there. So this is a V-twin, two-cylinder engine. And the uh, second spark plug was just as clean as the first. So, you know, with the synthetic oil, good operating conditions, clean fuel, you know, I don't know, the service, service might be a little too soon on it, but again, that's up to everyone else. I'm out of warranty now. I'm still using OEM parts uh, for this service. And here again, it's the importance of it needing to kick on in the winter. And then also they're already talking about, you know, electric outages, electric blackouts. So it makes this generator even more important to run when it needs to. Got to keep the belties watered and definitely got to keep the heat on to the waters too, otherwise we'll have trouble in the winter time. Now it looks like the oil is down to a slow drip. So I'll put the cap back on that and tilt that up. And I did do a previous video on this generator, kind of like a review, a quick review of the install. And um, I've got a, a heater kit on this 
So that's a that's a heater sleeve there to provide a heat source to the oil. Also have one under the battery. So the battery be warm when it needs to kick on. And then also kind of like a block heater that slips over the, the oil filter. Been working good. So let me get that tightened up there and uh, get ready to get the new uh, oil filter put in place. The oil is a little darker than I expected. So it's definitely good to do the oil change. Get a little fresh oil around there. Okay, and 070185E. Touches filters, even though it's set up for it. Bump the camera. There we go, about three quarter after it's touched. You can see they they provide a nice a nice way to tie up the drain hose for the oil there. So. All done. Get the rag out of the way. Nice clean job. And it takes just under two quarts to fill this engine back up. Make sure we have our heater source back in place. Okay. Let's put that full synthetic in there now. Take out the oil fill. I did make up a funnel. A nice little short funnel there out of a uh, steel, little steel um, two cycle oil additive. Screws right in there. Does really well. And I'm going to fill that now with just short of two quarts. Okay, I've got just under two quarts of this mobile one put in there. Again, it just I just happened to find this that this steel oil um, mixture that you mix with gas to do the 50 to 1 for your chainsaws just happens to screw in there real nice in this uh, this oil fill port to uh, just provide a little bit of cleanliness and guidance for the oil with that little little funnel. I'm going to start this sucker up. Let it circulate the oil. It says that's empty. Let it circulate that oil. And then I'll check it. Okay, so our service is still turned off. It's switched off. So I'm going to let that set and then check the oil using the dipstick. Top it off if needed. While I'm waiting on that oil to run down, it's a good time to wipe this off. Clean it up a little. It can get dusty. Therefore, it's turned off, so it's safe to safe to touch. A 
We'll get dusty out here. Cobwebs, spiders. I've yet to find any um, wasp, but I'm sure people do. Give this access door a little clean. You can see with our service off and our service scheduled, we're yellow and red. And that's to let you know if you walk away, you do not have automatic generator during a power outage. Sixty-five amp service to the the whole house, then you got a fifteen amp service to uh, use for auxiliary, whatever you want to use. Comes in handy. Well, the oil is looking good. So, except for the valve lash, that concludes a Schedule B. Just really quick. So what, in, what involves that checking the valve clearance would be taking off these valve covers on both sides. And you have to bring the engine up, the cylinders, to top dead center on each side when you're checking it. And then you are taking the filler gauge and checking underneath the uh, rocker arm here, to making sure you have the proper clearance, the proper adjustment. That's quite involved. I think that'd be another video. Also, I don't have the, the new gaskets for the, the valve covers. So that concludes the, the Schedule B maintenance. And we need to always remember to put this back on auto. Service B schedule. Was the service performed? Enter for yes. Escape for no. Yes, we did. So now we're ready to run and we're in auto. So next time we have a power outage, we'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. Any comments or questions? Let me know. I always enjoy hearing from you. Have a good day.